hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i shape this look using crochet hair and spending nothing more than 15 dollars but please before we start don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you so my crochet hair came in color 27 but i wanted something i wanted i wanted the roots to be dark but i don't want it to be too dark and i also wanted the blonde to be way more than the dark side so i boil hot water and put the red dye and then i'm just gonna tint the I'm going to tint my crochet, the roots of my crochet, and I'm going to tint it again. I just didn't make a video when I was doing it again because I wanted it a little bit more darker. And then it's going to dry, and I'm going to use it just the way it is. As you can see, I already braided my hair. When I'm doing mine, I don't care how it looks. As you can see from both sides and the middle, I already have my part. So if I want to part it to the left or the right or the middle, I have the choice to do so. Again, as you can see, this is my braids. It doesn't look so clean, but hey, it's my hair. If I was doing my client's hair, it's going to be a little bit different. Way, way, way different and more prettier. But this is my hair, and I just want to get this stuff out the way. <laughs> so just a heads up, my, my fingers are going to be a little bit dark because I dyed my hair, and it stained my fingers. So don't judge. Just watch the video. <laughs> So I already crocheted most of my hair and I didn't want to show you guys everything because I'm sure you guys, you know, most of you guys know how to crochet. I just want to show you what I did for this particular one. As you can see, I did not crochet my hair the way it came in this, like, what you can, you know, what you can see in my hand right now. I had to take one strand and I separated it into two and I used um, each halves for my crochet. I wanted to have a full look. But I didn't want it to be too clean or too, just too perfect, basically. And I'm just going to crochet the other half. And also, I think I bought four, five packs, and I only used four and a half. Four, actually. I didn't even finish using the fourth one. Maybe like three and a half-ish, yeah. And then we're going to get back into business and start crocheting ignore me guys i'm just too excited because i've not had anything close to weave in a long time so this crochet kind of gives me the weave illusion and i was just too really excited about it as you can see um i'm gonna open my crochet hook yeah and then just take it under my braids and i'm gonna take the other remember when i separated one strand I'm just gonna put it in yeah so as you can see I think I'm using the ombre one if you can look at my um where the circle is it has the ombre one so and then I'm just gonna take just one strand one strand and then just tie it up I usually used to do two like two of them before but guys Ignore whatever it's looking like. Ignore everything that's going to come together. Do not stress yourself out. It's crochet. Again, same thing. And that's how I did all my hair. And also, um, I would say crochet is nicer when the hair is really, really kinky. Or if the hair is black. But me, black is not my color. That's why I'm using blonde. So, it could be a little bit tricky. But hey, just play with it. Play around with it and then just make it look right for you so now i am done with my crochet for now i'm gonna go back and then see if i have to add some stuff if i have to pull out some stuff i'm just gonna play with it but now i am done i'm just checking to see all the parts to see how they look in me and they look really really nice again i feel like if i want to do the same style i am going to try and see what the ombre 27 look like ombre blonde just because um it's really hard for you to do all color 27 when you have dark roots when you have um when my hair is black so maybe the ombre might just i would not have to go through all that dying um all the stress like tint the roots and all that stuff but i'm gonna see i'm gonna see i'm gonna see but yeah i'm loving the hair so far i've not had anything like weave in a long time like almost a year plus if not more so I really love this. I really love this look. And the hair is extremely soft. When I say extremely soft, I am talking about this is like the softest crochet hair I have ever, ever seen. I'm going to go ahead and trim as you can see. Just trim it and just, just again, play with it. It's crochet. There's no right or wrong. There is no, 
um do this or do that no just do whatever is best for you and then if you want to have if you want your hair to be this full then you have to separate the hair just to just so it's fluffy and full but if you don't care for how full it is you can go ahead and crochet your hair the way it came in the pack but have it in mind that if you don't separate it you might end up using more pack but if you do you're gonna end up using less pack again guys do not forget to use your mousse i did not use my mousse again when it's my hair I don't really put so much thought into it. I only put my mousse when I really need it. So, guys, go ahead and, you know, put the mousse just so it's a little bit shinier or cleaner, whatever you want. But I think I love it the way it looks right now. So, I also try putting it up just to see how I like it. And then when I put it up, I'm just going to trim, trim, trim just the way I want it to be. And that'll be all for now. Please, guys, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be posting more and more. And I'm also going to be doing a one-month review on how the hair is from now. Thank you.